Hello again and welcome to the tutorial. It's been a while since I've last uploaded a video and now I'm going to upload a shorter one. Well, I can't apologize about the audio that I uploaded last time, but yeah, for now, we're going to focus on the template editor and how to set up your session before you start an event. So if you opened your application already, let's click new event right here. And let's name the event. For example, it's a wedding 01. Let's choose customize settings for now because we will still need to edit the template and all of it. Let's wait for a while. Once you click that, the settings dialog box automatically pops up here. We're going to close it first and let's go to template right here. So if you click this template, I have here what I drafted, but let's start from scratch. So we're going to click new template. Let's name it basic, basic template. You have here options to choose. These are presets that the software has ready, but I want you to make a um, template from zero so that you would understand how it works. So let's click OK and it will give you a blank space to work on. First, you have to know how many pictures does your camera need to take in your session. So that really depends. Most commonly used, um, they want like four pictures per session. It means the camera is gonna take a picture four times and the session is done. But for this example, maybe let's try just two. So I have here ready pictures for us. I have here the template one. So I'm gonna open this one. I click the add image to put this template. So it's just a picture. It's saved as a picture and the size is four by six. That's four R. If you can see on the right, on the left side of this editor, we have the paper size four by six. So I'm using the standard edition, so I don't have any other paper sizes here. It says additional paper sizes available in the professional edition, but let's stick to four by six for now. So this is the most basic and the number one thing you can do. If you already know how to edit images and template using other editors like Canva, Photoshop, or any editors you're familiar with, that's what I did here. So I already have it prepared. The size is four by six inches and the resolution is 300 DPI. And I just put the name, the date, and it says, thank you for celebrating with us. So the next thing we need to do is to add photo from booth. What does it mean? It means how many pictures you need to take during the session. So as I've said earlier, most of the time they wanted four pictures to be taken in each session. So let's put four pictures here. And we need to resize this, of course, because it is not proportional to the template. So let's just edit it for the sake of you knowing how it works. Sometimes it looks like this. Or 
or sometimes like that. It really depends. You have to decide the template before you even start editing your your picture. So since the template is not proportional to the four images, for this tutorial sake, I'm going to remove for the fourth picture so let's move it on this side like that okay and i'm gonna resize this so that it looks pretty this one too okay i'm gonna resize this That's it. If you can see, we have four layers in this editor. What are the four layers that we have here? First, we have the template, which is the Maria in one. We have the photo one, photo two, and photo three. Anything you want to adjust, you just click the layer first and edit from there so first first thing i'm gonna do is click the template layer and i'm gonna click this lock so if i put my cursor on this area the template doesn't move next i'm gonna click photo one if i don't lock this one it will move but if i click the lock it won't move anymore so that's how it works if you're wondering hey I want to I wanted my pictures to look at to I want my pictures to be square shaped how do I do that well first you have to click the picture the layer here for example photo one and you're gonna just remove the check mark here, the keep aspect ratio. So if you're gonna resize this, you can actually resize it. But we're sticking to re rectangular because that's the aspect ratio of my camera. So let's click it back. Here on this side is the information. The position, it means the X and the Y axis. So if you're not using a mouse in your laptop, this is how you can move the layers by just changing the numbers here for example currently we're on this layer photo one if i want to move it on the right side i'm going to change this to 58 that's how it works so put it to 41 and for the size if you wanted to change the size a bigger size you can edit the width or the height either either of it if this check mark is right here it will automatically adjust so for example i'm gonna put 800 here then it's bigger but let's go back to the original size and if you want to rotate the picture you put 80 for example or 90 so that's how it works so let's put it back to zero and here if you wanted to add a border for your images you just click the stroke width currently is on zero so just add it based on your preference and you can also change the color here let's say you wanted to use blue just for example and for this image you wanted to increase it as well and change it to green you can do that orange it's up to you and that. so that's how it works and if you're gonna click the drop shadow it will add a shadow you can also change the color and modify the angle the distance and the spread so that's pretty much it. 
So if you're satisfied with your template, you can now move on to Open Photo Boot. But we're not done yet. You need to go back to Settings because we need to add the Start Screen Image. What does it mean? It's the first picture that your clients will see once they click on your photo booth. So let's just touch the display settings and discuss the other settings some other days. So you're going to click this one. Options. Start the application in full screen. Yes. The background color. Let's not change that first and let's proceed to the next option which is the start screen so i'm gonna browse and i prepared something okay it's not here okay i know what happened i saved it as png remember if you save your start screen it should be on JPEG. So we're gonna edit it quickly so you'll see what I mean. Let's do this here. Hold on. Let's open paint very quickly. So I'm gonna add a color for example. I want this color and let's just assume it's this size. Okay, and I'm going to put tap, tap, screen to start. And I'm going to resize it bigger and put it on the center of the image. Let's put 50 here. Okay, just for appreciation's sake, I'm going to do this. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think that's fine. I'm just going to resize it a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to save this one. Save. Let's save it here. Um, taps. After saving... After saving your picture, on JPEG and you go back to DSLR booth, make sure not to start the session yet. Just click this button and you go back to the template here. So let's go to settings and let's choose the image. Let's go to display and let's browse the image you saved and here, here it is, tap screen. And on this portion here, on the capture screen, let's set up, let's just put 5 for the meantime. It means the number of seconds it needs before the first picture is taken. And countdown before each picture is, the f is also 5 seconds. And after all the pictures are taken, uh, the software will display the picture for 3 seconds, for another 3 seconds. And I put color yellow for the countdown. You're going to see it later, what I meant by that. And before we start the session, let's just uh, let's put a quick look here. Make sure that the sharing is not enabled. You're going to see it if it's color green, meaning it's enabled. So I'm going to... I'm not going to select any of that because I don't want the clients to open email or Twitter during the session. Right after the pictures are taken, I want just for them to go to printer and wait for the printout. And for the printer, you choose your printer. For me, I'm using Epson L805, but I'm sure others are using different printer. Just make sure you select the correct printer here and put the check mark in 
the automatically print each session. So the clients doesn't need to click print for the, for the session to print. So yeah, I think it's all good now. If you're okay with the settings, don't forget to save. It's right here. Wait, let's just move this. Don't forget to save your settings. So after saving it, let's put this in full screen. So I'm currently using my webcam, but if you've installed your, if you plug, I mean, you don't need to install it. Once you plug your camera with the correct USB in your laptop or in your Surface Pro or iPod, I'm sure it will appear here. But for now, I didn't install any camera. I'm going to use it. I'm going to make another video for that. But for now, just for for us to try out this, this session, let's just choose the webcam. But... I didn't turn on my webcam, so you're just going to see black screen <laughs> as pictures. So, it's time to start it. Tap the screen to start. I use the term tap because if you're using Surface Pro, there are no keyboards or mouse. Let's just, it's just your finger trip. Get fingertips. ready. So, if you notice, it counts five before the picture, the first picture is taken. And the, okay. the color is also yellow. You can change this if you want other colors. It's a fine. Last one. So it took three pictures here because we just put three pictures in the template. Ooh, but you can add good. more if you want. Share your photos. So if you can see, there's a blue mark moving here, up here. You can wait for that to finish or you just click done. So Thank the you. session is going to start a new, a new one. And right now, what's going to happen is that the session is going to go to the printer. So it's printing already and the client will just go there and wait for the printout. I will stop the printing site. You can actually make two or three copies depending on the package that I want, but I set it up usually just one copy. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for the most basic things. Of course, all I'm going to teach you here are just basic things and, you know, make easier for all of us. Please hang on for the next video because I'm going to make another one for this. I'm going to see you. Thank you. And please subscribe. Bye. Get ready.